Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and in this video, we're going to compare uh, different bracelet options, strap options for the Casio G Shock. Now, all I have for G Shock are Casio, the uh, squares, but uh, you can use some of these on some different G Shocks. I don't know all the different variations, but today we're just talking about squares because that's all I have. So I do have the aftermarket um, combi bracelet somewhere around here. Uh, I would not recommend buying it. I, I could not get it to fit on a couple of these different square watch heads and I lost it. So we're not going to talk about that today. So what I have on the table is the combi bracelet Gen 1, combi bracelet Gen 2, uh, have the metal G-Shock square, so we'll talk about um, the metal bracelet. Then I have this one with the, I guess we'll call it a factory NATO strap. It's, it's not really a NATO strap, it's a, it's a two-piece fabric strap with this adapter here. And then finally we have the resin strap. This is not the standard resin strap, that would be this one here. Actually, I have one more. Let me pause the video. So a while back, I bought a the 5600E, the cheap one, the one that's like $45. I bought one used, and the guy sent me a bunch of different straps. But I think they're essentially the same thing. This one here came off of my 5610, uh, this guy here. So anyway, I don't have these installed in any watch heads, so... We'll let this other one here stand in, but you can see this is quick release. It's a little bit different of a design. It's smooth. It doesn't have the ridges in here with the holes. So anyway, I'll set this off to the side and we'll try each of these on wrist. And also I'll take some measurements of the lug to lug. Let's just get the measurements out of the way right now. This one's, well, we'll just measure it like this. So we'll call that 58. This one on the um, strap adapters here. This is a limited edition. So we'll call that 60. This is the Combi Bracelet Gen 1. That's 58 and a half. Combi bracelet Gen 2. Oh, so that's uh, 60. I was expecting it to be about the same. 60 and a half. And then finally the metal. I think all the metal squares are built the same with the strap to case relationship. I'll set it down on the table here. This, these kind of flex a little bit. I have not spent much time with this watch on wrist. I did an unboxing and uh, still haven't done the review. So we're looking at about 62 on this. And I'm measuring from this edge right here to this edge right here, so not this first piece down. Might not be a fair way to measurement, but a fair way to measure it, but anyway. So let me try each of these on wrist. Uh, you can take a look at it. I'll try and get a shot from behind as well so you can see how much it overhangs. I've not sized this bracelet yet. So I'll just pull it down on my wrist. I'm not even sure how I would size this. I'm pretty sure there are little spring bars in here, so I just push it and then pull it out. So anyway, let's get this on wrist. Here we are, my six and a half inch wrist. Unfortunately, I don't remember everything I just measured. Um, so I hope you guys can remember those numbers.
So I guess it, it does it does kind of overhang, but it fits the wrist. Let's see, you can go like this. I guess it doesn't look too bad. So there we are with the metal one. Let's, uh, oh, yeah, I have another one on the newer quick release resin strap. So I'll put this one on. These are essentially the, the same watch, just different colorways. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's try the camel one. Make sure I'll put them both on for the fun of it. So still have three more to go. So if you have a, gee, probably maybe even a six inch wrist or six and a quarter, this would work for you. The, uh, it would be able to be attached to your wrist. Not sure how it would look on your wrist. Kind of an awkward filming angle here. Just trying to give you a sense of how it looks on wrist with the overhang. I don't like the little tongue hanging out here. Some of these things break in over time, but it feels a little bit, it's a tad bit uncomfortable on wrist. Maybe I could loosen it up a little bit, but anyway. So there we are with the resin strap on my six and a half inch wrist. Set that off to the side. And we'll try on the two different combi bracelets. This is the combi gen two. This one was about 60 and a half. When I remember. Oh, this is so light. This, this thing is so light on wrist. And it wears like a dream. If you have not tried a G-Shock square on a combi bracelet, I, I highly recommend it. It probably the best wearing watch I have in my collection. It, as far as comfort, that is. So it does technically overhang, but it doesn't look that bad. And then the Gen 1 combi bracelet will look pretty similar. This is a heavier bracelet though. Now this one here, the middle pieces appear to be metal. And then the each links are plastic. On the Gen 2, everything is plastic. Or resin, sorry. They can feel a temperature difference on that middle piece. That tells me that it's metal. Also this piece here. It's a big piece of metal, and on this one it's resin. Yeah, it's resin. So let's get this on wrist. Again, this feels very good on wrist. If you can either get the Gen 1 or Gen 2 combi bracelet, either will be fine. For whatever reason, this one's a little bit more snug on my wrist. I guess the links aren't the same size. Shot from behind there. But again, very comfortable on wrist. This one does overhang less. The I guess I'll call them end links are kind of a little closer to my wrist. And finally, we'll get this one on the little strap adapters here. Yeah, I suppose you could, if you had spring bars, you could use this for NATO straps or heck a leather strap, whatever you wanted. I didn't measure the lug width on this. Twenty point six. That's interesting. So we can get better measurement, more accurate. So 
So what is this? Yeah, I would say that's for a 20 millimeter strap. Actually, I have one here. Yep, 20 millimeter strap. So let's put this one on. Uh, again, this is the Porter Limited Edition. I don't see any, I don't think it's a numbered edition though. So I really don't know how many of these they made. But it's the 85th limited edition. The display seems to be very clear on this. All right, let's put this on wrist and we'll close out the video. In my unboxing of this, I had commented that the watch seemed to overhang my wrist with these adapters so that kind of prompted the discussion and figured I would compare this to my other G-Shocks might actually be in my entire G-Shock actually I have one somewhere else I haven't unboxed yet I gotta get that open and then we'll do a G-Shock collection video but this just seems like it overhangs more than the others Maybe it's just a combination of the thickness of this piece compared to the thinness of the strap. It's hard to say. But let me know in the comments section what you think. If, uh, do you like how all these look? Do you think they all look fine? Could also be how there's uh, a ledge here. The only way to get around that is if you had the strap flare out, but that wouldn't really work too well with a fabric strap like this. Maybe a leather. You can have it tapered down or a resin. But if you can use a resin strap, you can just attach it into the case itself. You don't need this adapter. Let's see. Yeah, because you're not going to have a fabric or a leather strap that steps down like this. I think that's a 16 millimeter lug. Not that it really matters. Yeah, 16. So I have another watch head around here. I need to find some spring bars to put one of these straps back on that other one. Actually, I think I'm gonna do a, a um, I have a titanium kit, so I'll do a, tit a titanium kit mod on that. And then maybe then I'll do my G-Shock collection video. It, it never ends. Like, Got stuff coming in, going out. I don't exactly know when to do a collection video, but we'll just, it'll just be a, um, you know, like a moment in time. But that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Just, again, looking at all the strap options that I have here for Casio G-Shock. see. Another combi bracelet. This is the Gen 1, Gen 2. And then just, this will stand in for a G-Shock on a resin strap. But again, um, I would highly recommend getting one of these on a combi bracelet. They wear so good. Negative displays. I like how they look, but the legibility is not nearly as good as a positive display in all lighting conditions. So if there's anything else you'd like to see, uh, leave a comment and I'll try and do my best to create a video on that. As always, thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next video.